the gap between private consumption and domestic consumption is growing. So, what is the difference between the two? Private consumption is the total spending of the residents of a country both at home and abroad. And domestic consumption is the total spending of both residents and foreigners within the same domestic territory. In Korea, domestic consumption by foreigners is more closely associated with production by consumption-related industries than the overseas private consumption by residents. Despite the relatively rapid recovery in private consumption, production by consumption-related industries recovered less in 2017, implying a relatively weaker correlation between the two. This is mostly due to the decline in total domestic consumption as foreigners tighten their purse strings. So, how significant is the domestic consumption by foreigners in Korea? KDI analyzed the impact of domestic consumption by foreigners on consumption-related industries. It was found that, although the share of domestic consumption by foreigners in total domestic consumption is small, its contribution to the volatility of domestic consumption has grown over the years. On a one-point increase in the standard deviation of domestic consumption by foreigners, the value added in the services and food and accommodation industries and the gross rate in services consumption would all increase. This has been particularly stronger in recent times. During the global financial crisis, the shocks delivered to Korea's domestic consumption were eased as domestic consumption by foreigners increased, offsetting the huge slump in debt of the residents. In 2017, however, foreigners spent 28% less than the previous year, slashing the growth in total domestic consumption by 25%. So, why did the spending of foreigners in Korea take a downward turn? The domestic consumption by foreigners is closely tied to the foreign exchange rate. Therefore, any movements in the rate will typically be reflected in the spending. In 2017, however, factors other than the exchange rate were primarily responsible for the decline. To delve further, an examination was conducted into the number of tourists that visited Korea in 2017. It was found that, due to geopolitical issues including the relocation of THAAD, Chinese tourists, who make up half of all tourists in Korea, fell by a record-breaking 55% compared to the previous year. And as a result, the total number of foreign tourists dropped by a quarter. The number of Chinese tourists still has not recovered to past figures, and it is weighing down on the recovery of production by consumption-related industries. It is expected that this trend will continue, with domestic consumption being affected by the rebound in the number of visitors to Korea, especially those from China. In 2017, the US economy has increased a lot of the US economy. In 2017, the US economy has increased a lot of the US economy has increased. 어, 이는 전통적인 수출 산업뿐 아니라 국내 소비 관련 산업의 경기에도 중국의 영향을 크게 받을 수 있다는 점을 시사합니다. 앞으로 국내 경기가 크게 위축될 경우를 대비해 환율의 신축성을 확보하여 국내 소비의 변동을 완화해야 합니다. 또한 장기적으로 봤을 때 소비 관련 서비스업도 점점 대외 경쟁에 노출될 수 있기 때문에 대외 수요를 충족할 수 있는 경쟁력을 확보해야 합니다.